Hi, this is Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2011 on a 61 plate Nissan Navara 2.5 DCI, a center that has arrived in with us, coming part exchange. Uh, this is a one keeper from new vehicle. Um, covered 97,000 miles, I believe it is. I'll confirm that for you very shortly. Uh, generally good all round condition, a um, few minor bits. Uh, nothing major, nothing that you wouldn't expect really on a vehicle of this age. Um, we tend to do warts and all videos, um, so uh, we uh, don't hold anything back. We'll show you the bad bits as well as the good bits. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to start off with this one up here on the roof. Get up on the side step there, covered in a little bit of ice. Um, but uh, apart from that, we're all in good shape. Coming down onto your windscreen, there is one major stone ship that I can see on the windscreen. I don't think it's an MOT failure. Follow my finger, end of the finger there, just there. Obviously, we will be putting it through the workshop before it goes out. If it is an MOT failure, it will get sorted out on it. Bonnet. Try and give you a close up. I am losing the light by the second as I'm videoing this, but hopefully you can see the bonnet tidy and clean front grille all good passenger headlamp unit all good passenger bumper corner all good uh, front fog light there coming around to the front another fog light and driver's headlamp unit again all clean and tidy if we look down the driver's side of the vehicle hopefully you can see in this light it is nice and shiny so you can see no major dents or dings there is something I'm going to point out to you very shortly um, and make up your mind about that um, driver's side front bumper corner is all good driver's side front wing all good this vehicle has a set of BF Goodridge all-terrain tyres fitted to it all round uh, loads of tread depth left on them as well try and give you an idea Probably better in the photos actually. Other wheel on this side's all good. No, little ding there. I'm not convinced my dent man's going to get that one out, if I'm honest with you. So it is there on it. Hopefully, you get an idea what it is on the video. Uh, drivers, mirror units, all good. Little bit of dirt in the end of your indicator there. Mirror itself's all good. Driver's side door glass is all good. Driver's side door. A couple of minor little scratches on it. Nothing major again. Very difficult to actually point them out to you in this light. Behind your door handles. Minor elements of scratching from nails, etc. Might be able to get a bit of polish on there. A um, couple of minor little things. There's a really small ding there. Can you see it? Really small ding just about here and a little bit of a minor scratch there on the door but as you can see difficult to point it out on the video and again a little bit of a mark there um, side steps all good though and rear tub very tidy and clean obviously these navaras can rust on the tubs wouldn't be the first one I've ever seen with rust on the tubs. This one has come in, uh, hasn't required any paintwork at all. On the tub, it's uh, it's tidy and clean. There's no rust around the edges of it. All good. Now inside, I think we're going to be struggling with the, with the camera, but door card, passenger side, rear. Clean and tidy. No major damage on it. Entry step here, plastic is all good. We've got genuine rubber mats in the back. Back of the seats are in clean, tidy condition. Headlining, all good. And then rear seats, again, clean and tidy. Driver's side, we have a worn side step there on the entry metal um, 
probably something wouldn't get painted for you, it's not a major drama that. Classic entry steps, all good. Door car, driver's side, again clean and tidy. There's your electric window switches. In the actual door pockets themselves, clean and tidy. Driver's side seat, so, top of the seat, all good. There is a little bit of wear here, and a little bit of wear here. Again, something we can probably get sorted out on it for you. We just, Christmas time, difficult to get stuff sorted for this time of year. Um, airbag light currently flashing on the dash, nothing major, we've just had it unplugged, so we'll get that turned off on the diog. Um, obviously that will be picked up on our PDI check anyway. You have a leather multifunction steering wheel. Leather on the gear knob, slightly worn. And you've got Bluetooth uh, stereo system there, climate control, air conditioning, selectable four wheel drive system down here. And the dash itself inside, clean and tidy, cup holders clean and tidy, armrest all good. We have a mountain roll top on the back. Uh, this does lift up. I'm not going to do it now because I've got the video camera on. I can't do both at the same time. But hopefully you can see in there, you have a plastic load liner fitted. Clean and tidy, not done too much hard work there, has it? And uh, tailgate of the pickup is actually clean and tidy. Chrome rear bumper, tidy. Tow bar there, fancy tow bar, and passenger side rear tub again. Quite tidy. What we got there? Oh, a little bit of dent. Uh, not a little, a little bit of um, dust, I should say. Dense. God, that's got your heart rate going, hasn't it? Um, so, utilising the lighting from our security lights, hopefully, you get an idea. Rear alloy wheel, this side's all good. Uh, again, BF Goodridge all terrain tyre fitted. Passenger side rear door. Little bit of a mark there. Uh, we haven't, um, we will get this uh, machine polished before it goes out. The current climate, we're just getting over a bit of snow up here. It's very icy, it's a completely waste of time getting the polishing pop out on anything. So, passenger front door, good. Side step going down the side, this side, all good as well. Front and rear mud flaps fitted to this one. Again, another matching BF Woodridge all terrain uh, with another good alloy wheel. Mirror units, all good this side itself is all good again a little bit of wear on the metal side of the entry step plastics all good rubber mat this side dashboard clean and tidy I'll remove my camera off the seat so you don't think I'm hiding anything passenger seat trim clean and tidy all good as well and we'll show you the rear of it. Entry step inside, all good. So we've got three genuine Nissan rubber mats. The driver's side rubber mat is not a genuine rubber mat. There is an element of wear on the carpet underneath the rubber mat on the driver's side. I think they've also worn through the old genuine rubber mat and then the bottom of the rubber mat on top. Door cart this side, clean and tidy as well. As you can hear, the radio works fine. Um, overall the truck's clean and tidy so it's, it's a one owner or one keeper from you uh, was registered to a uh, private business we've taken it back in part exchange off them uh, it has a good service history with it it has had the Nissan recall done on it passed with flying colours and that was recently done I think maybe even this year um, so all good from that point of view um, what can I say really? A couple of minor marks on the bodywork, which a machine polish will actually make it 100% um, better. A little ding on that driver's wing, wasn't there, which we showed to you. 
Um, but apart from that, pretty damn good. A little bit of wear on the driver's seat as well, wasn't it? Um, and a stone chip in the windscreen. So there we go. Um, 40 to 50 photos going online on our website very shortly. Uh, if you require any further information, feel free to give me a call. I'm Simon. My business is Vans Today, based in Worcester in the centre of the country. And you can contact me on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Uh, who you were you worried about who you're buying off? Check us out on the internet. We're on Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, etc. etc. Um, and hopefully um, that'll allay any fears that you may have. Um, anyway, um, thanks for looking at the video and hopefully speak to you later on. Thank you.